Hello, friends, and welcome to another episode of Smooth Magic. We've got a regular booster box this time of the Double Masters. It'll be the first one of its kind that we'll be opening up on the channel. So let's go ahead and get right to it. We've got a fancy little tool here. We're just going to slice this open just very gently. Maybe a little bit there as well. Okay, set this off to the side. And slide it all off. All right, let's see what we got here. So our display here, a little cardboard foil here. Looks like we have uh, the box toppers. I believe there's actually two in here. I'm going to save this for the end. And I believe these are 24 packs. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three of eight. This is instead of the 36. All right. The box is considerably heavy, heavier than one would think. It's a lot of... A lot of heavy-duty cardboard there. Okay, we'll set this off to the side. We'll move our box stopper right up there, just so we remember that that's there. And let's get started. So our last video, we opened kind of a smorgasbord of cards, just to check it out. Uh, getting a little bit of feel for the set. Seems very cool. Very excited. Uh, hoping we get some you know, interesting... Uh, foil cards coming up here. I think last time I just got one foil rare in 12 packs, so let's see if we can double our chances with the double masters. Going in right through with the uncommons, the enlarge. Our first rare here, of course, we always have two rares in the double masters. So we've got, why don't we stick that up here so we can see that. We've got the uh, Cascade Bluffs and a Terrastoda. Oh boy. Terastodon? I'm pretty sure that's a made up word, so I don't feel bad mispronouncing it. And the Iron Bully. I'll put that there. So this will be our mythic slot. So again, uh, unlike the Double Masters, each uh, pack, or sorry, unlike the VIP Double Masters, each pack here of the Double Masters does give a chance or two uh, mythics in the same slot. Not the same slot, but the same uh, slot sequence. Got the fire lit thicket and a cyclonic rift. Love this card. Great, great card for a commander control deck. Definitely got a, use, got a lot of usage out of that. Of course, this looks like the expedition map. Well, maybe not quite. Close. The treasure mage. I guess we should probably... Oh, this one. I know this one was a reprint favorite. Opulet. I got the land tax. Oh, nice. Um, I know this was in Battle Bond. I don't remember where other set, what other sets it might have been in. So that was our first mythic here, land tax, and the mirror battle sphere. Fencing ace. And the top of the statue for our foils. So that was a fairly decent pack. Two uncommon foils. Nothing to shake a stick at. Got the weapons trainer. First familiar. Yes, very familiar with that card. Got the Sun Forger for our first rare. And a Geth, Lord of the Vault. Looks like something straight out of Resident Evil. <laughs> very cool. I expect him to say Nemesis at any time here. And a couple comments for the foil slot. So, so far our packs have been pretty good. Got two Mythics in, what was that, four packs, five packs? Yeah, 
There we go for the first rare. The Meddling Mage. And the Hammer of Nozzin. And nothing happening on the foil slot there. Opening pack number six, coming up on one third of the way through the box. Already got two mythics, so it's looking pretty good so far. Ooh, almost lost that hole. I'm set it right there. Disciple of Bolas for a first rare. And a Scare's Dag, High Priest. Oh, that's cool. Sometimes those uh, these tokens can be surprisingly cool. This this really really looks like something from Bloodborne. You got the not necessarily a tricorn hat there, but it kind of looks like that style of Bloodborne weaponry and cloak and hat. Very cool. I and not to dwell on that, but I always feel the human soldiers are very very generic looking art. You know, a, d a dude sitting there with a sh sword, shield, whatever. That one's got some personality to it. I'd love to see that in foil. Our first rare, we've got the Heat Simmer. And a Lenin. A, oh boy. A bonus? Artifacts you control have hex proof. Oof. Okay. It seems like that would make the Lightning Greaves a difficult thing to get to deal with. Let's see, nothing going on there. A couple uncommon foils. Moving on to pack number seven, going through. This will now be one third of the box. I always mangle these. Mystic Gate. Again, the, the, I'm not sure if these lands here are, are new to Double Masters or if these are reprints. We got the Cold Oath Forge Master for the second rare and a whole lot of nothing for the foils. All right, well, we started off pretty good, kind of slowed down a little bit. Let's see if we can pick things up here in the second third. All right, the high market. You know, the market, especially this little awning here, it's got a lot of feel of like a bazaar of Baghdad. Very cool. Toxic Deluge, very, very nice card. And, uh, oh, what's this? Tok Tok the Returned. It's a <laughs> Golan Goblin. That's cool. Getting a little ahead of myself here. Oh, that is disgusting. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> that is really disgustingly cool. The reshape for the... F Ooh. There we go. That right there, my friends, is a Jace the Mind Sculptor. Very nice. Very, very nice. And a foil uh, metal, of course. Of course, our foil rare would be the meddling mage. Of course it is. Why would it not be? Why would it be anything other than the meddling mage? So that was a three rare pack. I suppose it could be possible to get a three mythic pack. You'd have to get two mythics and then the foil mythic, but that would be, that would be amazing. Oh, we got the Dark Confidant Mythic. So that's our fourth Mythic here. And a Sharum, the Hegemon. Very cool Sphinx card. Oh, no. Uh, well, now that I kind of wonder, there are two foil slots. So is that possible to actually get four Mythics? I guess conceivable? Improbable. But... If it's truly random, it's unlikely, I guess that would be possible. That would be a fun pack to open. Alright, first one, I got the Core of Calling. 
The second one, the Grand Architect. I, I gotta say, I love the artwork of this. The, the monitor, it reminds me of a... In, uh, Bioshock. There are these, uh... Oh, what were they? They were like little things with, uh... Like big ears on them, I think? And they would run around. They were like little, uh, artifact things. They'd run around. And they would, like, listen. Um, it just kind of reminded me of that. Uh, Bioshock Infinite, I believe. Alright, here we go. First one, the end. Ooh, oh, boy. I, I was so excited there about that. Uh, now it's a heavy played card. Um, oh, man, amazing. Engineered Explosives. This was, uh, this was a big hit in Ultimate Masters, especially as a box topper. So, very good pull there. Oblivion Stone. And uh, nothing else. All right, we're gonna set these common, this common pile off to the side. Clean things up a little bit here. As we're about halfway through. Again, these first uh, couple videos are likely to be a little bit slower than usual, just to kind of get a feel for the set, have some fun, look at the artwork, you know, enjoy all the creativity that went into the set. And then we can just burn through and get to the the good stuff. The Twilight Mire. And Aris the Redeemed. Uh, seems like a good Selsnia. Is it Selsnia? I'm not sure how that's pronounced. A Selsnia deck type card. Selsnia. Let's see if we can pick it up a little bit here. There we go. Deep Glow Skate for number one. We're at number one. And Tuk Tuk the Explorer, number two. You know, a lot of people don't really realize, but these tokens here can actually hold some value. Especially the foil ones, you know, if you get like the collector's packs. Sometimes those tokens can be upwards of $10 or so. Is that Nurse's Tower? Alright. Nurse's Tower. So don't throw those away. Trindisphere. For our fifth mythic. Sculpting Steel. And we got the Foil Flicker Wisp. Let's see how... Oh, I was kind of hoping they'd do, like, the eyes here, like, light up or something like that. That would be, you know, like, put some foiling around those to make it extra creepy. All right, we are now on the back third of the box. I hope everyone's having a fantastic day or night. However you choose to enjoy a smooth magic is up to you. But we do hope that you're re relaxing a little bit here, winding down from the... Start of a law or winding down from a long day or ramping up for the start of a good day. Here's the uncommons one, two, three. We got the guild mage back here. Rage reflection, a glimmer void. And nothing much, much else there. So again, still hoping to get about two more Mythics. Make this box a, a pretty solid box. We did get the Jace, so I'm happy about that. Seeing a Force of, force of Will or a Karn would be really great. Vampire Hex Mage. Still very cool artwork. The Wretched Bomb. Lux Cannon. And that's it there. this guy's pointing to or is he casting that casting some sort of fireball ice ball thing their master works all of them 
A sort of feast of famine. Oh man, that artwork is so cool. You know, as cool as the uh, the box topper versions of the Sword and Feast of Famine are, I really, really like this artwork. I almost wish that that was the, the stuff for the box topper version. So what was that? Mythic number six, I believe. And again, the uh, don't forget we got this guy sitting up here too. Those can have some wild, wild swings at the end to close out the video. A thought reflection. Ooh, draw a card, draw two cards instead. That, you know, that card is absolutely amazing for a, a commander deck. I might want to actually keep that one for myself here. <laughs> Stick that in my old Niv-Mizzet draw a bunch of cards deck. Thespian stage. The Phyrexian Metamorph. Nothing else going on. We're down to two packs. Folks, thank you so much for being with uh, me here today. I really enjoyed your t our time together, and I do hope that you stop on again to see uh, a lot more of our videos. We've got a ton of Double Masters coming up. We've got more booster boxes, exploration, great card. Uh, more booster boxes, we've got more VIP packs, a lot of cool stuff here. Trash for treasure. Last pack of the booster box, then we'll head on into that box topper. It's been sitting there taunting us for the better part of, jeez, has it really been like 15, 16 minutes? I need to pick up the pace. Salvage Titan. A voice of resurgence. Oh, okay. There, there's a little bit of a bent here. Germ. Interesting. Put that one off to the side. So we've got here the Cragwick Cremator. Doesn't seem all that great. Oh, we'll, we'll check into that. Okay. And the last up, we got the Double Masters box topper. I think there's two in here, but we'll find out. Go ahead and take a peek, see which, if they are, yes, this is correct, so we want to open them this way first. I'm not sure if these are in any particular order, if they can both be showcases or what. So let's uh, start with the first one. The Academy Ruins, okay, so they're not foil, they're just borderless. Uh, not a great pull there. And... The Blood Moon. Okay, well there you have it, folks. Uh, not a bad box here. We got some some cool cards. Uh, I think a little light on the Mythics. Let's see what we got here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so a little light on the Mythics, but again, we did pull a Jace here, so that might make up for it. Well, everyone, again, thank you so much for being with me here today, and until next time, I'm wishing you all, as always, to have a smooth day.